Think about all the playoff wins Jason Tatum has had. Six conference finals in eight years. The finals against the most popular team in the world, the Golden State Warriors. Anthony Edwards is already a bigger star after one playoff run. Dancing on the court like MJ and Kobe to beat the defending champs. Post-game quotes just begging to be on a t-shirt. I have not been to Minnesota in probably 20 years. Bring gas. Even Charles Barkley respects this kid's trash talk game. Ant is clearly the future face of the NBA, but right now is Lucas' time. He had the moment of the series with the game winner over Rudy Gobert. Nobody loved that more than Draymond Green. But there's a bigger problem than even Luka for the Timberwolves. An anonymous NBA exec told ESPN, only dysfunctional ownership could break this team up, which unfortunately is exactly what they have. You may have heard about a potential Carl Anthony Towns trade, well, there is another huge casualty for this team that could take down everything. But this shouldn't be some negative Timberwolves narrative. They were a huge success. 56 wins, second most in team history. First playoff run in 20 years, number one defense, and beat the Nuggets? Especially in that game six. I mean, remember, Denver went up 3-2. Timberwolves possibly eliminated, but they came out and punched Nuggets in the face. Held them to 70 points. So what happened against Dallas? Well, they exposed two huge huge problems. First, Luka solved that number one defense and the Wolves offense is just not good enough. Rudy Gobert is basically useless unless it's an easy dunk at the rim. Dude's got more turnovers than a French bakery. And let's be honest about Ant. He did go missing for long stretches. Like games one and two, he averaged 20 points on 33% from the field. That's not good enough. Luca is always there, but Ant's 22. That's normal. Michael Jordan lost in the conference finals twice before breaking through in year seven. Kobe was swept by the Jazz. Air balls in his first conference finals. D Wade and Luca lost their first conference finals too. But Carl Anthony Towns doesn't have that excuse. He is 28 years old in his prime. The first three games against Dallas, he shot three of 22 from three. It got so bad, TNT made fun of him with one of the greatest graphics of all time. Yeah, Cat was great. Game seven against the Nuggets defending Nikola Jokic, but wasn't it classic Cat? Really good, then a complete mess. He was supposed to dominate smaller PJ Washington, crash the boards. Instead, he shot 38% in the conference finals. A minus 16 plus minus. Benched for Nas Reed to close out game two with bad defense. Can you afford to pay a guy like that a super max? Turns out they can't. There have been rumors about how the Wolves cannot afford to keep Cat, but I wanna break this thing down in detail so you understand. Because Ant made All-NBA, his salary jumps to 42 million next year. Cat's Supermax kicks in at 49 million. Gobert makes 44. So just three players owed about 135 million. Add in the other seven guys on contract and fill out the roster, it's 200 million. One of the most expensive teams in NBA NBA history. Oh, and it is the worst time ever to be that expensive. The new CBA was designed to break up teams like the Timberwolves. It makes signing new players or doing trades almost impossible. Future draft picks get frozen and the luxury tax is insane. With that salary, the Wolves will owe an additional 75 million right out of the owner's pocket. And just look at his history of paying the tax. From 94, when he bought the team, to 2005, he paid about 23.5 million. Since then, about 2 million. Now he's gonna pony up 75 million in one year? Well, that might be okay for Steve Ballmer, the 10th richest guy on the planet, but Glenn Taylor got rich from owning chicken farms. He's not some tech billionaire. So the obvious 
odd man out is Carl Anthony Towns. Cut his 49 million, this all goes away. And they've got Nas Reed, who's amazing. This is too easy. But what if somebody else owned the team? Taylor planned to sell them to Mark Lurie and Alex Rodriguez, but canceled at the last minute when the money didn't go through. Now, A-Rod says they had the money and he's suing Glenn Taylor for the franchise. But do Timberwolves fans even want that? Adrian Wojnarowski actually reported something that should scare everyone. In documents shared with Glenn Taylor and the NBA, Lori and Rodriguez rendered a budget projection as potential majority owners that would have lowered the Timberwolves payroll to 171 million beginning next season, below the projected luxury tax. Uh, so 200 million to 171, how are they gonna do that? Trading Carl Anthony Towns? Okay, so what would that even look like? Well, before we get to cat trades, there's one other huge issue. The man who built this Wolves team is Tim Connolly. He famously flipped from the Denver Nuggets, where he built a champion, to the Wolves. He then traded for Rudy Gobert, signed key role players, and made the conference finals. Great! But Conley has an out in his contract where he can leave this summer. He did it just in case this ownership thing became toxic. So if this isn't settled, the Wolves could lose Cat and their genius GM. This is a disaster right when they get good and Ant is gonna be the face of the league. Dysfunction could tear them down. But we have to talk about what they could get for Bad Kitty. Well, the obvious team is the Knicks. They have been linked to Cat for years and he is represented by CAA, who runs things in New York. The deal would center around Julius Randle, who makes 20 million less than Cat. The problem here is Tom Thibodeau, who has a history with Cat and it didn't go well in Minnesota. What about OKC? Lou Dort was the only guy to slow down Luka in the playoffs and he's much less expensive. The issue there is the Thunder are gonna need to pay all their young guys eventually would get expensive. What about the Heat? They always love stars, but Cat and Jimmy Butler didn't exactly get along. The Sixers have cap space and they could take him right into it without sending players back, which is great for Minnesota's salary, but they don't have win now players to send. So the number one rumor right now was floated by the ringer. The Wizards get Carl Anthony Towns, the Wolves get Kyle Kuzma, and the number two overall pick. I know it sounds crazy for a win now team like the Wolves to get a rookie number two pick, but that talented rookie would be cost controlled for four years, which is exactly what they need. Plus, they could get maybe a point guard to grow with Ant, like Reed Shepard, to replace the aging Mike Connolly. That could pay off for years or they could get a Zachary Reza Shea to improve their offense. He can stretch the floor around Ant and eventually be his offensive number two. This actually isn't as bad of an option as it might seem, but you really need to understand the details of this ownership fight. It's going to play out in court this summer, could take down the entire thing, and how it actually got to this point is insane.